Every success story is also a story of great failure. Failure is the highway to success. If you want to succeed, double your failure rate. If you study history, you will find that all stories of success are also stories of great failures. But people don't see the failures. They only see one side of the picture and they say that person got lucky. He must have been at the right place at the right time. Let me share someone's life history with you. This was a man who failed in business at the age of 21. Was defeated in a legislative race at age 22. Failed again in business at age 24. Overcame the death of his sweetheart at age 26. Had a nervous breakdown at age 27. Lost a congressional race at age 34. Lost a senatorial race at age 45. Failed in an effort to become vice president at age 47. Lost a senatorial race at age 49. And was elected president of the United States at age 52. This man was Abraham Lincoln. Would you call him a failure? But to Lincoln, defeat was a detour and not a dead end. One day a partially deaf four-year-old kid came home with a note in his pocket from his teacher. Your Tommy is too stupid to learn, get him out of the school. His mother read the note and answered. My Tommy is not stupid to learn, I will teach him myself. And that Tommy grew up to be the great Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison had only three months of formal schooling and he was partially deaf. Henry Ford forgot to put the reverse gear in the first car he made. Do you consider these people failures? They succeeded in spite of problems, not in the absence of them. But to the outside world, it appears as though they just got lucky. All success stories are stories of great failures. The only difference is that every time they failed, they bounced back. This is called failing forward, rather than backward. You learn and move forward. Learn from your failure and keep moving. In 1914, Thomas Edison, at age 67, lost his factory, which was worth a few million dollars, to fire. It had very little insurance. No longer a young man. Edison watched his lifetime effort go up in smoke and said, there is great value in disaster. All our mistakes are burnt up. Thank God we can start anew. In spite of disaster, three weeks later, he invented the phonograph. What an attitude. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for other videos like these.